What's good with y'all, man? Uh, I'm coming on here, man, because I got I had another topic to talk about. I was on Instagram and I basically asked everybody, "What's your main struggle in life? What would you say your main struggle in life is?" And somebody said procrastination and lack of motivation. Um, so the thing about that is, I feel like if you're struggling with that, if you're struggling doing things you should be doing, if you're struggling to start something you've been thinking about, talking about, envisioning, period. You know, if it's just something that you really just can't seem to start or you can't seem to continue doing, you can't keep it going, you can't stay consistent. Uh, nine times out of ten, I think it's just things that you are actually doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I think the way to stop lack of motivation, to stop procrastination, is to cut things out of your life that's keeping you from being motivated. So if you smoke a lot of weed, stop smoking so much weed, bro. Weed for a lot of people, some people say it help them be productive and stuff like that. With some people, it may. I believe it does help some people because I've seen some people be able to do a lot of things while they was high. But for me personally, if I smoke too so much weed, I'm not going to do too much work. I'd rather lay down and... God damn, bro, what's that? Anyway, when I'm smoking weed, I'd rather lay down and chill. I don't really feel like doing too much of nothing. I don't really feel like, you know what I mean? I don't feel like doing anything productive. You know what I mean? So just simple stuff like that, cutting things out of your diet that may not be best for you. If you're going to eat a whole plate of, like, imagine, like, when y'all get up and eat breakfast, bro, you eating pancakes, sausage, eggs, toast, grits with cheese and you know what i'm saying that's a lot weighing you down bro you're not gonna feel like doing nothing after that you're not gonna feel like working out after that you ain't gonna feel like doing no content after that if you are a content creator you ain't gonna feel like uh starting your business you ain't gonna feel like making no flight whatever you do bro after you get done eating so much food a lot of times a lot of people don't feel like doing nothing bro a lot of times people don't feel like moving after they get done eating so much food it's the small things that people don't pay attention to that keep you from really doing what you're supposed to be doing and it sounds it sounds so small i know i understand bro how you gonna tell me to eat and food? Well, if you've never been productive before, if you've never been able to stay consistent for over three months and doing one thing before that was different than what you used to, trust me, it's something that you're doing on a day to day that you haven't thought about that's keeping you from doing it. If you've never been if you've never been able to do something consistently for over three months that's outside of your comfort zone, bro, these bugs is crazy. That's outside of your comfort zone. Nine times out of ten, it's something that you've been doing subconsciously that you didn't know was holding you back this whole time. Once you, can, once you can be able to start to cut out people and things that's not serving you any purpose, then you can start to move forward. Then you can start to unprogram your brain from all the bullshit that's in there because that's what's really keeping you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. I was not always a productive person. I was not always consistent with the things I wanted to do. I always had ideas. I've always done things here and there. I've always been the type to say I wanted to do something. I always thought about doing things. I always wanted to manifest things. I had every part of, manifest, every part of manifestation down at one point. Besides the actual action of things besides actually getting up and do things. I'm supposed to be doing Besides actually putting that work in I had every other part. I'll get up. I'll write down in my little journal I think about things throughout the day I'll close my eyes and envision myself having this having that I watch certain videos on YouTube about motivation manifestation having money having uh businesses I would have all these things visualized in my head But I wasn't willing to put the work in I didn't have any action uh, to go along with my mindset and it was frustrating to me because I knew I wanted to do something. I just couldn't figure out how to get myself to do it. Something was always holding me back. Something was always keeping me from doing what I was supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? And I know that's how a lot of y'all feel. Y'all probably feel like y'all want to be consistent, but something just won't let you do it. Something just keep pulling you back into the cycle that you've been in. And it's a lot of things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis that you haven't thought about. You got to start thinking about what you do on a day-to-day. -day. Why you eat so much food? Why you smoke so much weed? Why you drink so much? Why you hang around them bullshit-ass people? Why you can't seem to cut people off that you know don't really care about you? Why can't you do these things that's keeping you from doing what you're supposed to be doing? Why don't you just keep... Why don't you just start something new? Why don't you just start a new lifestyle? Why don't you just try to be something different? And I'm not saying to cut everything off at one time. I'm saying if you smoke five blunts a day, cut it down to one. I'm saying if you eat four meals a day and snack in between all of them, cut it down to two meals a day and snack a little bit less than what you already do. Just stop doing things as much as you as you do. And I can guarantee you're going to see a, a, a difference. It's not about changing everything at one time. That's where y'all go wrong. at. Y'all think y'all got to change everything at one time and it becomes overwhelming. And now you're depressed, not depressed. How can I say it? Now you're. Uh, what's the word for it? Uh, Basically, you're not motivated anymore. I, I can't think of the name. I can't think of the word right now, but I feel like y'all know what I'm trying to say. You're not motivated. You're uh, in a way defeated. I don't know what the word is, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. In a way, I guess you could say feeling defeated. Like you just can't seem to change something about your life. Like you can't control yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's how you got to kind of start looking at it. Like, hey, yo, I want to do this. I want to do that. 
but I literally can't make myself do it. I have no self-control. And that's and you got to start being honest and real with yourself about these type of things. People are scared to be real with themselves. When I didn't have no self-control, it took a lot of strength in me to be able to say, you know what? Bro, if you can't do something for over 30 days, if you can't do something for over 60 days, if you can't do something for over 90 days, you have no self-control. When I started doing reactions, I started three months ago. I've been doing reactions every day straight, haven't missed a day of uploading for literally 90 days. If this was three months ago, there's no way in hell I would have kept this up. And with the help of y'all, y'all also motivate me, and that's a factor in it. But I had to change a lot of things about myself, man. I had to stop hanging around certain people. I had to stop indulging in certain conversations. I had to stop eating certain things. I had to stop just doing things that was holding me back. I had to stop smoking so much. You know what I'm saying? I had to stop messing with all these females. You know what I'm saying? That was holding me back. I had to stop thinking about a lot of these females that was holding me back. You know, it's like you got to just start taking control of your own life and your own actions, your own plans, man, and just start looking at the bigger picture. Start envisioning your future, bro. Start remembering what you're doing things for. Start remembering what your why is. Start remembering why you're starting things in the first place. You know what I mean? If you're starting to feel like you don't want to do things no more, you're not motivated. You know you was motivated at one point, but now not so much. Just start thinking about why you started in the first place. Start thinking about your end goal and where you want to be. Start envisioning yourself having these things and continue doing things even when you're not motivated. I seen something, I believe it was Jim Jones, man. He said, he said, when you're not motivated, it's okay. Just find a way to stay consistent. And that stuck with me. Whenever I'm not feeling motivated, I remember that. When you're not feeling motivated, just find a way to stay consistent. I think about that a lot. I think about that a whole lot. It's certain days I don't feel like recording. It's certain days I don't feel like talking. It's certain days I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like doing anything productive certain days. Certain shit, certain weeks, I'm just not feeling it. But I remember what my vision is. I remember why I'm doing this. I remember that with the audience I have, it ain't about just making them laugh. It ain't about just entertaining them. It ain't about just giving them what they want. It's about these videos too. It's about people that's out there that really need this, even if it's a smaller audience. It's people that really need this shit. So I'm starting to look at my life in a different light. I stop, I don't look at my life no more like it's all about me. I'm starting to look at my life like, okay, well, if I could use my body and work as a vessel to help other people, that's what I should do. My life is purposeful. You know what I mean? Everybody's life should have some type of purpose in their mind. My life is purposeful, man. And if I'm just sitting around just doing things just for my own comfort, how that would be, that's very selfish of me. Especially with me knowing that I could really give something to somebody because I've learned certain things in my life. I know certain things that people probably should, should, you know what I mean? I, I know certain things that people should be hearing. You know what I'm saying? And for me to not want to get that to y'all and keep y'all engaged with me to be able to even absorb this type of information and even care enough to click on this type of video to get this type of information because some of y'all may need it, some of y'all may not. But start looking at your life more so outside of the realm of yourself. Start looking at something higher. Start admiring or start trying to be something greater than what you can even imagine for yourself. You know, that's another thing I can I could say. When it comes down to your life, stop looking at it from such a selfish standpoint and start trying to help other people. Better yourself so you can raise the vibration, the energy, and the frequency of the people around you. Because once you better yourself, you better the world. Because you're not disconnected from it. You're the same as the world. You know what I mean? That's why when you see somebody else go through certain pains, you can feel that pain as well. You see somebody get physically hurt, you feel certain pains as well. That's why when you're watching movies and you see something, you be like, oh, shit, I felt that. You don't even want to look at it, do you? Because it's like you part of that situation. You connected to the earth. You connected to the world. You connected to the energy that's associated with all of this. And I ain't trying to get too deep, uh, cause that's not really what this video is about. It's really just about motivation and, and um and um lack of motivation basically. <sighs> but um, yeah, man, I feel like that's the main thing I had to say. Just start cutting out the things that's not meant to be in your day, on your on your day to day. Start cutting out people that's not meant to be in your life. Just just cut out a lot of the bad habits and I can guarantee you you'll start replacing them with good ones. It's not always about what you're not doing. Sometimes it's about what you are doing. Same thing with your diet. It's not always about what's the right thing to eat. Sometimes it's about the right things to cut out of your diet. So with that being said, whatever you could get from this video, you know what I mean? I don't expect y'all to absorb every single thing I said. I don't expect y'all to listen to everything I said. You know what I mean? I'm not always right 100% of the time, especially not for, from, for person to person. It could be different situations. You may have already got past this lesson and it's just a review for you. This might be the first time you done heard somebody speak like this. But all I want to say is, man, I wish y'all the best. Um, if y'all have any questions for me, 
feel free to hit me up on Instagram. I'll DM y'all back as far as anything like this. Um, it's AGTV Clips. A-G-T-V-C-L-I-P-S. No, yeah, man, I love y'all, man. Um, I'm out.